This weekend, thousands of white supremacists gathered in Charlottesville, Virginia to reclaim the right. They came to protest the removal of the Robert E. Lee Confederate statue. Some of these neo-Nazis arrived on Friday and held a torch-burning march across the University of Virginia's campus. The white supremacists were met by a small group of anti-racist activists and clashed in front of the Thomas Jefferson statue. I mean, I was standing there with two of our friends who are both, like, people of color, and it was just the fear in their eyes. Like, if I was scared. I mean, we were terrified. Like, it was, you know, you've got 30 people and 300 Nazis with fire, like, and they were beating people with their, with their torches. Like, they were trying to burn people in the face while, like, like, while, like, screaming racial slurs, like... It absolutely felt like some like some like long lost piece of history that was being recreated. Yeah, we had to get out ourselves. They they pepper sprayed a bunch of our people, and we had to get them out through the crowd, through the police, line, to our own medics. We had they, people who couldn't see, like they couldn't see to walk because they'd been maced in the face. On Saturday, hundreds of alt right neo Nazis marched through the streets of Charlottesville, met by scores of anti fascist activists. Many skirmishes broke between the dueling groups because of the hands-off approach by law enforcement. It happened, it was just hours of like people fighting in the streets and there was no police intervention. There was no, like there was literally no intervention at all, like. No, and that's what we've, we've always said, that's part of anti-fascism is like, it's our job to keep ourselves safe and our community safe. You know, it wasn't just Antifa in the street, it was Antifa, it was Black Lives Matter chapters from all around the region. IWW. IWW, Democratic Socialists, uh, and a lot of people from the community, a lot of civil rights organizations. During the midst of the conflicts, a white wing extremist from Ohio, James Fields, drove his vehicle through the crowd of Antifa and Black Lives Matter protesters, killing social justice activists, Heather Heyer, and injuring 19 others. The car gunned it, they were from a hit, we were at the bottom of the hill, the top of the hill, it was a small street, a two-way street. This car just came running through real fast. You could hear it accelerate. It started hitting people. You see bodies flying. You know, I'm sure a lot of people have seen those images. But yeah, that man murdered those people. He, he murdered that woman, his car. And we don't know how many more people will die. There's still five people in critical condition. So right now, he's murdered one person. But there's still five people in critical condition, and those people are not guaranteed to make it. They're not stabilized.